We're in Ocean City, Maryland on Fish Finders Adventures Boats, and we have about five lines set up to catch some sharks so we can tag them. And the National Aquarium works with the captain, Mark Sampson. Uh, this is his boat, and he's our captain. He allowed us to use the boat to bring on some participants, some members of the aquarium. Hopefully the people who come out with us will have a fun time, at the same time, catching them on rod and reel and uh, getting a good fight out of them. I've been involved in uh, the tagging program now for about like 32 years. That every shark we catch, we record certain things. You know, the species, the type of shark, we take the total length from it, estimate the weight, we mark it down whether it's a male or a female. Um, then if we do tag it, we actually record the tag number. This particular tagging program that we're involved with, it's just a, a way that uh, the National Marine Fisheries and NOAA are able to compile data on tags, movement, and growth, and um, uh, abundance of certain species and frequency of catch. This is a normal fishing hook, normal J hook, with the point goes straight up. If the fish does swallow the hook, get it down in the stomach, it will actually hook you know, wherever it can catch, it'll hook right away. And that's not necessarily very good for the fish. So what we use are these circle hooks, and they have that curve to them. The hook will not set down there. It will actually slide out of the stomach, and then it's, it will just kind of rotate right in the corner of the mouth and just set right in the corner of the jaw. When we do get a bite, uh, usually you guys will see the rod will just kind of bend way over like this, and the line will start coming off the reel, and you guys just go pick it up and start reeling. plant this little stainless steel dart right here under the skin of the shark and so the rest of this trails outside of them. And inside this little capsule, you pull out that little yellow piece of paper, it actually unrolls, it's a note in like five different languages that says, you know, if captured, please contact, and it's got National Marine Fisheries address and all. On the sharks we catch, we take a little clipping from the back of the fin and those will go off to some labs that are doing some DNA research um, and cataloging of sharks. Um, you know, let's just say a commercial fisherman has a box of shark fins and he claims that they're all mako fins caught legally, but one of the fins is suspected being maybe a great white or another species that's protected. Well, through DNA analysis, they would be able to prove that it's not what he says it is. The antibiotics that we inject them with, it's uh, oxytetracycline. It actually stains the shark's vertebrae. If somebody ever catches that shark again, and the biologist happened to be able to get, uh, get a sample of the vertebrae and look at it under a microscope, then they would be able to measure how much it grew from the time we stained it. There's about 14 species that we often see. We're never quite sure what might show up. Um, we've had you know, times when we've been out here where we were encountering primarily small sharks. And one time in particular, um, we had a big 14-foot great white show up behind the boat, which was the last thing we expected that afternoon, but there he was. We don't like to tag them unless they're at least about four feet long. We don't want to injure the shark with the tag itself. As far as I understand, there's never been a documented attack off the coast of Ocean City or all along the beach. Um, sharks are really very discriminating in, in what they eat, and uh, they're accustomed to eating fish, and that is pretty much what they're, they're out after. You know, sometimes people start start hearing about the fact that there's sharks out there, and then they start to worry, and yet you know, they've always been out here, and hopefully they always will be out here. You can come and join us too if you check out aqua.org. We have trips in the summer uh, every year.